Hello YouTube. I'm going to share a few tricks that I've learned over the years re-gripping a tennis racket. Um, so as you all know, most of the grips come packaged like this. And if they've sat for a couple of years, either from your supplier or in your own stock, you're going to notice some are wrapped tighter than others. Like this one's not too bad. This one's a little worse. The Wilsons are terrible. So what happens is they get a little deformed like this, no big deal. But because of the way they, they bundle the grip using the tape, and you get these funny, this one's not too bad because I've been letting it sit open for a day, these funny fold marks on the edge and some of them are, can be really bad. I mean, even after you're done with it and it relaxes for a couple of days, they're still sticking up after fully wrapped. Very annoying. Also, you have these um, flash, flashing high gloss areas, and that's from the material contacting itself. I think it has something to do with the, the backing of this tape. I'm not sure why. Some are worse than others. So bad I had to throw some away because they look that bad. But I found a few things to address this. Um, open it up, relax it, and we're going to use a heat gun. I'm going to heat this baby up. Hopefully you can hand it over the heat gun. I'll be careful not to burn it. Or melt it, I should say. Just feel it as you go. When I start, once I started doing this, it was kind of a game changer in the end result. It even seems to eliminate those flashing spots. I'm going to do both sides. So this is also a plus because it, it heats and almost makes the adhesive more active. Kind of see how it's starting to lay down. This is probably going to take you uh, two, three minutes, I'm guessing. Depends how bad it is. You'll notice uh, the edges will start to improve greatly. A lot of those fold marks from the tape, the way that it's bundled. Then, oh, sorry, roller, any kind of roller. I'm going to roll this out. I'm going to lay it down, flip it. See the flashing is so much better. The imperfections on the edges are almost gone 100%. Okay, so much better. All right, take your racket. Uh, butt cap. If the butt cap, run your finger over it, this gets burrs all the time from being dropped. One of my tricks is to drag a blade across it this way. Do not try and shave the nicks like this. That doesn't work. You're going to drag the blade like this. Okay. This works the best. Get them all out. And then, depending on the brand and the type um, of plastic, some are softer, some are harder. And then, I like 220 to 320 grit. 
And then I'm just going to go around and round, round it up, get it nice and smooth. This, this is a pretty soft plastic, this particular one. Nice. Believe it or not, a lot of people hold, when they hold the racket, the butt cap, their palm is over the end of the butt cap. And this actually is really annoying, can actually hurt. Especially females, I would imagine, it's really even worse. Okay. Now we are going to lay this thing down. Peel the tape. Uh, I do the method that the factory uses. You don't have to staple, but I begin with a staple. Okay. Want it nice. Don't put it too deep, it'll blow right through the grip. But you don't want it sticking up either. And then begin your wrap. I like to over lay this so it's beyond the end of the butt cap, like so. I don't know if the camera picks this up. Okay, so just over the end. And then make a slow, gradual descent, okay, until you can finally get the edges to sync up. You don't want to overlap it any more than need be. You can use some brands have this little rib. And that should be your target. That should be your only overlap is the rib. I'm pulling this tight as I do it. Maybe five to 10 pounds worth. There's a really nice tack to the adhesive because I activated it with the heat. Now, I'm gonna run up right past this silicone band, which is I believe a factory-like dampener. I'm gonna end here, get this gun out of the way. Now what I use, to get a nice clean ending here, you wanna cut this, we know we wanna finish, I wanna finish right at the top of this silicone band. So I'm going to draw a visual line sort of like this. When you make your cut, never kind of guesstimate. Rule of thumb is whatever angle this finishes on your wrap, scissors should be perpendicular or 90 degrees to the handle. Okay? And then make your cut. So that's what it will look like. And finish your wrap. And you will finish like this. Okay, that's about what I want. I got the tape up here already started. I'll lay the tape down. I'm gonna pull slightly, slight stretch and wrap. One trick I've learned too over the years is your last inch, so like from from here to there, you don't want to have any any pull. Okay? Just wrap it loosely. And then I like to finish with a 45 degree snip here. Like this, you're gonna fold that. So that, 
that last inch, you don't want to, you don't want to be pulling. And then go around it a few times with your fingers like this. The heat of the friction from your fingers will help activate the adhesive. And then it's less likely the tape starts to unroll, as I'm sure you've all experienced. Then another super trick is these ends are on, 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 on everything, factory ones as well. Because of the shape of the butt cap and the slope here, the grip wants to creep this way um, by nature. So what I do, especially after re-wrapping, is I take some packing stretch tape, okay? I'm gonna wrap this a couple of times. Nice and tight. Like so. So the tape helps roll the, the end over nicely and it will help hold it there in place. And it gives the adhesive time to set on the butt cap so that it doesn't creep downward. And that's it. That's what I've learned over the last couple of years. Makes the outcome so much better for what that's worth. Hope it helps. Thanks for watching. Ciao.